last voyage of Demeter, all members of the ship are doomed to bloody routine. In 1897, a cargo ship was heading from Romania to England. When the ship was found on the shore, it had no survivor. The lighthouse crew found a notebook while investigating, which detailed about what happened to the crew in the ship. Now, let's go back into four days earlier to see what happened to the ship. Captain Elliot is looking for some men to board his ship Demeter and sail the ship to England. As the men are gathering the cargoes in the ship, one of the men is scared when he sees the dragon sign on one of the boxes. He said, dragon is bad omen, I'm out. Other members of the crew and Captain Elliot starts their sailing to England. Meanwhile, the box with dragon sign begins to move and fall over and something released from it. After a while, the crew finds out something violently killed all animals in the ship. When the crew were dropping the dead animals in the sea and investigating the ship, they find a woman who is barely alive and having been sewed away in one of the boxes. Kellemans, the doctor of the crew, starts blood transfusion to keep her stable. At night, when others were asleep, one of the men was keep watching on deck. He heard the knocking sound. He tried to find out where the sound came from. He suddenly saw a creepy creature. Before he can do anything, the creature slashed the man's throat with his claws to suck his blood out. Who do you think the creature is? Let me know your guess. If it tickled your curiosity, go for the movie. I'm not going to tell you more about this story. The genre is horror, but I don't think so. It's not a scary horror film. It's mostly a violent, bloody movie. About atmosphere, tones, and setting are amazingly visualized. And about set design, it's wonderful. You can uh, easily imagine yourself as a part of the crew on the ship. From now on, this episode contains the spoilers. Just be aware. The movie is based on a chapter from Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is set in a cargo ship transporting an evil demon to England. I told you about the strength points, but I think the big weakness is the creature. It doesn't seem like Dracula. And um, I think the filmmakers try to boost the fear factor with uh, creating an unclothed gray skin with bat wings creature, but they were not successful. I didn't like that creature. And nothing, literally nothing about Demeter is frightening. About characters in the movie. Joseph, the chef, he thinks that it's the punishments from the god, and Anna is an old pal of the Dracula. The actors did what they could, but Cunningham was perfect as he was in Game of Thrones. And if there were any shortages, it's a script's fault, not the actors. Look at this part. <laughs> Toby, come in! Come in! The child is stuck in the room with that monster, and no one tries to break the door. They just keep yelling, open the door. And whose fault is it? Definitely it's a bad script. Anyway, I liked the film, but if they spent more time on a script, it would be really better. The IMDb rate for this movie is 6.3, Rotten Tomato is 48, and Metacritic is 52. And my rate to this movie is 6.5. At the start of the movie, Demeter shown wrecked and destroyed in England. So we know it from the beginning, the last voyage of Demeter is truly the last voyage. In 2023, till now, we had two Dracula's movie, Renfield and Last Voyage of Demeter. Which one do you like the most? Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please tap the subscribe button, then send it to your friends. If there's any question, any mistake or any suggestion, please let me know. Love you all. See you soon.